All right, welcome back. Scarlet Letter, uh, pear, kiwi, bergamot, basil, lemon, uh, from a core brewing and distilling company in Springdale, Arkansas, 84 calories, 0.8 grams of carbs, no sugars, and so forth. Uh, they got a red, a blue, and a purple as well that I did see here on Untapped. So let's go ahead and see what Untapped has to say. Uh, Scarlet Letter Green is a delectable alcoholic sparkling water with a blend of pear, kiwi, bergamot, basil, and lemon. Uh, an incredibly clean finish and remarkably refreshing flavor profile makes this beverage uh, for all occasions. Alright. I'm going to pour half of it in a glass and keep the other half in a can. You know, see how it goes. I have found out that uh, all the Sonic hard seltzers are better out of the can. Oh boy, apple and pear. Mmm. I'm getting that bergamot. That smells fucking good. Whew. Cheers. That is really, really interesting. Um trying to see if anybody even said anything. Unique, definitely taste the basil. I'm getting more of the bergamot. It's kind of taken over the basil, I guess. Uh, no canned on date on the can that I could see. Uh, they'll tell you scarlet letter is a bad thing, but no, it tastes like fresh apple other than the Catholics who doesn't like a crisp apple. You say so, buddy. Eh, come on, load. I guess I do get the basil, but that bergamot's really like a lime, like a lime oil kind of a thing. Wow, surprised. Very refreshing. Quite a burst of flavor and then the dry seltzer finish. For a seltzer, it's quite good. Uh, rating based off a of seltzer, not against other style of beers. Only seltzer I've had with pear flavor. Yeah, same here. Mm. Alright, so I'm not going to dig too deep. Right off the bat, apple mainly, the pear, that bergamot. It's like, um, imagine lime, spicy. Not like hot spicy, but like, it's got some like clove and cinnamon and cardamom type thing going on with it. I don't know about the basil. I'm not particularly getting it. Maybe out of the can, it'll be different. Let's try the can. I like it better out of the glass. Out of the can, everything is a jumbled mess. So, in the glass it goes. Which a lot of people I've seen posted pictures uh, was out of a glass as well. And I think that is the way to go. Also out of the glass, it seemed a little sweeter. And it's not as dry Probably because some of that carbonation goes away. Hmm. I actually like this. I think, um, depending on price, you know, if, if a if I can get a six pack of it for seven dollars, seven fifty, um, eight at the highest, I would do it. I think it's got a lot of interesting flavors. I do see myself drinking this quite often, especially being a, a lower calorie. And if you know, want to get hammered, but not have 900,000 calories, this would be the way to do it. 4.3%, I mean, it's not bad. 
Um, some people, you know, the bare minimum they'll do is five. I've seen some of the uh, the older uh, fruited hard seltzers from Stone Cloud were three percent. Um, once again, percentage really don't matter much to me. Uh, I keep saying that, but as of lately in 2021, I. I with the way shit's going, I want to stay hammered. <laughs> Just a side note. Um, I'm going to have to give it overall as a seltzer. It's, it's, I don't know, man. It's really, really unique. Nine and a half. Only because I, I wish the basil was stronger. I don't know what kind of basil they even used. If it was like a Thai sweet basil. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I'd give it a lot better score. So, all right, there you go. Show you the can, I guess. Once again, they got this in blue, purple, and red, I think, as well. Maybe orange, I don't know. Check untapped. We'll be seeing you.